welcome back to another video today we obviously we are not in our showroom because our showroom is kind of under construction trying to put lights up so yeah um so this is the only way we can do the video so we are going to be talking about these two lights that are the bulb one which is basically the par 36 or 38 i think i'm not sure and also we have got the LED par cam from Shure, par cam, not par cam, sorry, par cam from Shortec, which um, we're going to be talking about which lights are good and which lights are bad. At the end, I will tell you which I would think is the best. We have um, got two lights, LED bulb, it's two differences good because you've got loads and loads of little leds so um when you do it, it the bulb won't go out like that but when you're doing it with this problem is that when the um it will kind of go out fast so yeah um also beam angle how bad kind of i'll show you a, um i'll um we'll point the camera to the roof so we can see what it looks like so I'd say probably kind of bad, good, because the beam is quite large. So you can have more, it'll do more space for light at your venue or theatre. So let's have a little look. LED, the reason why that is flashing, because it's because of the camera. But when it's off the camera, it's completely fine. So yeah, um, I'll show you the LED first. So let's switch to the LED. Now that is quite good. I mean, look at the colour of that. That is quite good, I would say, for bands. So, yeah. Um, and let's switch over to our bulb one. So, we have got quite wide angle of that. So, when um, it's far, quite far away, so like on the truss or on the stage, it does give quite a wide angle. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about what volts yeah volts of each light so when let's say you're doing a music festival or a small stage outside you've got this light the, pr the good thing about this light is the volts it does not take loads and loads and loads of volts up so your generator what go like that or whatever you're using and also this one sometimes it can because the volts are quite powerful on each of this light so um yeah so the next thing third thing we're going to be talking about is the color now this is running through colors at the moment you can use three or two you can even use two lights for one event you can use two of these lights for one event because you are using multiple colors from each light see how it's running through colors at the moment it is dmx um so it's not on dmx mode at the moment it's just going through the color so I'll, I'll show you and um this yeah you need let's say five of these lights because the reason why is each one does not have let's say that one it has multiple colors on it this one doesn't it just has one color and um, let's just try let's put um let's put orange in at the moment Oh God. Um, let's, so basically what you need to do also you need to buy one of these which is also bad but they're not that expensive honestly I think you get these with light sometimes if you're on ebay you probably sometimes go so now we've, like we've got that in we've got an orange colour but there is a problem you might you might not able to see the problem at the moment but let's say you have some smoke effect you have spots at either side of the stage moving spots and it don't matter what company it's from but let's say you're using this and smoke is coming out there will be beams coming from the light because as you can see here you can see the white or should i say peach peach color coming from it so like this it's not kind of off its room so let's say it's got leds hasn't it so it's not going to be like this but yeah that's also another problem for this light okay so now let's go over to dimming that 
you don't need what's well, DMX sorry yeah DMX you're using this and let's say this this I'm gonna turn them around both flights around now so I can let me just go like this so you can see it easier all right okay so we have got the um bulb one I'm just gonna say bulb and LED bulb here LED here so there's a difference you've got two DMX's, DMX in, DMX out and um, um, a little uh, panel for the sort of um, thing you want it on so like the colour you can change it to DMX, the, not DMX sorry DMX, DMX also this one you've got nothing just one plug going out you see I would say the problem is with that is you need to buy a dimming rack, dimming racks do cost a lot of money. I mean, if you have loads of money and you're rich, that's fine, obviously. But you know, you want to save your money sometimes. So sometimes, yeah, you just probably want to go for this when the D when the DMX is out because you've got DMX and DMX out. You don't need to get a dimming rack like this. You do need to get a dimming rack. Okay, so yeah, really, I think. I thought I think that's it to talk about these two lights. Now, um, I'll give you the results now. In fact, in fact, I'll, I'll do a recommending. I'll a recommend for these two lights. So let me plug them back in. They're not on DMX at the moment. Um, so yeah, um, let's plug these two back in. There we are. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm gonna recommend you the lights now. Band. I think I've already done it. Now, so I'll do it again. I'd probably recommend this one the bands because you've got more kind of effects this one theater because sometimes the good thing about it let me just no i can't do it that way um let's just take this out at the moment so let's just take this gel out put this back in okay so the good thing about this is you can do a house light effect because obviously a house light effect is kind of this colour, but this one no house light effect. So you know that's another thing, bad, good, good, bad. Um, yeah. So obviously theatre probably as well banned if you're wanting to buy a demo rack and you want to go kind of through all of that. But this bands as well. So the results I would probably get the the light I would probably get is this one because as well safety well not safety really it depends on the artists that are playing at your stage venue whatever you have all actors or uh, actresses so basically um, they're doing a lot uh, you, they're doing a lot of movement while they're performing <laughs> keep on whacking the lights with my hand back now so they're doing a lot of movement so let's say in the theater they're doing all this dancing it's a musical that light is like a huge is like a heater going on to you so that will make the people uh, actresses at you know etc they will make them really hot so they'll be really they'll be probably sweating they'll have to have a drink of water sometimes it can get quite bright so you need to be careful the way you're pointing it as well so yeah um i would recommend that one because it is amazing light leds it's it's changing color at the moment that one it's just blank because the reason why is you cannot do that really i mean if you're up for it you can just cut out small blocks of these tape them together and you've got something like that but that would just take forever because this this is already done but you see how it's going through all the colors at the moment and yeah i would recommend that one because of dmx as well you've already got the dmx at the back so yeah and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you a lot so yeah my name is elliot and i'm spiral stage lighting manager so our website and our email will be at the bottom we are available for booking so check out our website which is www.spiralstagelighting.wordpress.com and yeah, our email will be at the bottom and our details so you can book us. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you a lot. Thank you and goodbye.